Hey there, welcome. Brianna Santoro here, founder of thenakedlabel.com, where we address the food you eat to see if it looks as good naked as the marketing messages claim. Today on the chopping block, we are going to be undressing Pepsi Next. Basically, the next big health washing hoax. This product drives me absolutely nuts. So Pepsi is one of the major cola producers in the world. Pepsi and Coke kind of have the market cornered and they're the real big dogs. Now, when it comes to cola, there's two main groups. There's regular cola and that's the stuff that's sweetened with sugar and high fructose corn syrup. And there's diet soda, which is sweetened with artificial sweeteners like aspartame. Now there really hasn't been much in the middle, but recently, just this year, the World Health Organization changed their recommendation for our daily sugar consumption. This is because it has been shown that sugar is one of the major, if not the major culprits when it comes to the obesity epidemic we're dealing with in North America today. So the World Health Organization has recommended that our maximum amount of sugar is about 5% of our daily intake. That means about 26 grams or about six teaspoons. Now one can of regular cola contains about 10 teaspoons of sugar. So just consuming that one can, you're blown over your daily limit of sugar, which is recommended by the World Health Organization. So I think Pepsi saw the writing on the wall and realized they needed to do something and realized that consumers were going to be looking for a product where they could reduce their sugar consumption. Enter Pepsi Next. So in the US, Pepsi Next has 60% less sugar and that reduced sugar has been replaced with artificial sweeteners. Now in other countries like in Canada, France, Finland, the Netherlands, and in Australia, Pepsi Next has 30% less sugar and that sugar has been replaced with stevia, which is a natural sweetener. In fact, I grow stevia in my garden. It's a green plant, it's delicious. I take a couple leaves, throw them into my morning smoothie at a boost of sweetness. And you can also buy it naturally at your health food store to use for sweetening some of your baked goods. For example, when you buy it, it's going to look green because what they've done is they've taken the plant, dried it, ground it up, and then they sell it back to you. If you're seeing a stevia product that's white in color, that means it's more refined, more processed, and there's usually fillers added in as well. So in Pepsi's Nexus case, for example, they have not used this green powder to sweeten their product. What they've done is they've used a highly processed and refined stevia where the company who makes it actually goes and isolates out a very specific component from the plant called Reb A. Now this component has less of a bitter flavor than some of the other components and it's much sweeter. So that's why it's used in Pepsi Next because they want to make sure that they're giving you a product that tastes like the sugar version but has as less sugar. The thing is that Pepsi on the websites, for example, if you go to um, the Canadian Pepsi Next website, you'll see that they love to blast out all the health information. For example, they love to tell you that this product is naturally sweetened. It's the first thing that you see when you arrive on the website. And yes, there may be some of this highly refined stevia in there, and yes, it may replace some of that sugar, but this is still a very, very unhealthy beverage. In fact, this product, one can of it, has about seven teaspoons of sugar, which is still more than your recommended daily intake. So at the end of the day, this is really just a slightly better version of a very unhealthy product, a product that I recommend you stay far away from, especially if you're concerned with your health or if you're trying to maintain a healthy weight. So what can you do as a consumer? If this bothers you, health, you know, Pepsi's marketing health washing campaign, if this bothers you, what can you do? Well, you can do lots. I encourage you to share this video with your friends and family, send them an email or post it on social media and let people know this message. I don't drink Pepsi Next. It has less sugar than regular Pepsi, but it's still super unhealthy and a major cause of obesity. You know, individually, we're only one person, but when we band together, we can really make a difference. Thank you so much for watching, and if you loved this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash thenakedlabel, and for more products and dress, check me out at thenakedlabel.com. Thanks again, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.